Hey guys, it's Naomi, and today I did a thing, and that thing was pull out my Halloween costumes and decorations. Because I am impatient and cannot wait the last couple of days of September, I am in full out Halloween mode, which is why I figured I'd bring you guys my first Halloween video of the year. So today I'm going to tell you guys about some Halloween costume ideas that are pop culture related. So anything that is related to like the viral trends and like pop culture movies and TV shows that were out this year that were super popular and will hopefully hopefully impress at your Halloween parties. So let's start off with the most obvious thing. And by obvious, I mean there are already like a hundred articles about different DIY costumes that you could do, and that is for Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go literally took over the world. I know I was obsessed with it for like a straight week. I probably lost like five pounds with all the walking I did. Like, gotta hatch those eggs, am I right? So for Pokemon Go costumes, there are a lot of possibilities. You could be a Pokemon trainer, you could be a Pokemon like Pikachu, Charizard, Squirtle. Those are like the basics that are actually really easy to create. I'll actually link down below some like DIY Pokemon Go costumes that I found on YouTube if you wanted to try it out. If you're a couple, a really cute and not cheesy costume that you guys could do is like Team Rocket. If I had a bay, I would totally do that. And I've even seen a Pokemon Go stock lure. And this is probably my favorite costume that I've come across. It's just so creative. And you'll be the most attractive person at your Halloween party. Get it? The next costume idea you can take is from Stranger Things. If you haven't seen Stranger Things on Netflix, what have you been doing with your life? I got onto this trend really quickly. Like the second day it came out, I binge watched all eight episodes in like two days. I never really thought I'd be into a sci-fi series set in the 80s, but honestly it had me hooked. And there is literally not even one person I've come across who hated the series. So if you're looking for something to do, you're bored, you need a break, you need something to procrastinate from all of those homework assignments, Stranger Things should be it. And that will probably inspire you to try out one of these many costumes. So obviously the first costume you can go as is the squad. So Mike, Justin, Lucas, even Will, I know you, most of you are probably not guys, but you could be the girl versions of this and it's super easy to put together. Like you can go to Valley Village and find pretty much all of the pieces, I'm sure. Um, you could also go as Eleven. There's two versions of Eleven. The first one, you're gonna have to shave your head bald. Just kidding. You can obviously get like a bald cap if you actually wanted to try this one out. Then you need like a hospital gown and for extra added effect, I'd say get some red paint and paint on a bloody nose. Or you could obviously go with a much more reasonable and maybe kind of cuter outfit where you have a blonde wig and then like the pale pink dress. You can also be Barb, even though she was only in like two or three episodes. I honestly do not understand the obsession with Barb, but hey, if you have red hair or you have a red wig, Barb is a super easy costume to pull off too. Just get those big rimmed glasses and you're set. And then my favorite, favorite, absolute favorite costume that is Stranger Things themed is, drum roll please, being the wall. Yes. You can dress up as a wall. This was a thing that was done at Comic Con and I absolutely fell in love. I think I might even do like a DIY costume for it, maybe for a future video. Let me know if you want to see that. But basically, all you have to do is get like a tan shirt. Bonus if it's like floral print looking very like 80s like and like grungy. And then you draw like the letters on there, add some lights, and you're set. I'm pretty sure that's a costume that has great potential to win one of your costume contests. The next idea is to be a Snapchat filter. I know that this has been done last year, there are lots of DIYs from it, like the most memorable one is definitely RCL Beauty 101, but Snapchat filters have not slowed down in 2016, so why not go ahead and be one of them? From the dog filter to the rainbow bar filter, if that's what it's called, that's what I call it, um, to even like the floral crown or like the butterfly floral crown things, all you need is like flawless, flawless makeup and you're set. So if you are one of like the 5% of guys, according to my analytics, who watch my videos, this costume idea is for you and it is to be Damn Daniel. Such a simple and easy costume. I am still not over that video. I think it's still hilarious. But all you really need is white vans, obviously, some jeans, a t-shirt, and a red backpack. And bonus, if you can find yourself a hype man to just say, Damn Daniel, every time you walk by. Another costume for guys, so girls, if you're watching this, maybe suggest it to your boyfriend, is to be Leonardo DiCaprio and his Oscar. Let's admit it, 2016 was a big, monumental year. Our Leo finally got his trophy, so why not pay tribute to it during Halloween? All you have to do to dress up like Leo, 
at the Oscars is wear a suit and find yourself like an Oscar trophy. I'm sure you can find it on eBay. Luckily, I've put out this video early enough that you could hopefully order in time um, and just walk around with your Oscar looking super, super happy. The next costume idea is another throwback that will have you thinking we're still living in the 90s. It's basically to be Arthur and his crew with the rise of those memes that, while hilarious, have ruined my favorite childhood show. Dressing up as Arthur is a great and easy option for this year. If you have a group of friends, you could even dress up as the whole squad, so like add in Baxter, DW, Muffy, super easy to pull off, all you really need is like a yellow sweater, whatever color clothing they wear, and then maybe some like mouse ears. Pretty much all of my memories evolve Evolve. Look, I'm still talking Pokemon Go terms. Revolve around the Olympics. So why not dress up as an Olympic athlete? You may not have the skills to ever get that far, but whatever country you're from, just represent it. It's super easy to do whether you want to be like a swimmer or a gymnast. Just pick a sport and wear your country's colors. So if you're like a cross country runner, you could print out um, the number sheet thing. Guys, look, I'm so into sports. I know all the terms. You can even grab four of your girlfriends and dress up as like the final five gymnasts. So just wear like a bodysuit. So yeah, for those of you who have zero athletic ability, like me, this is your chance to just fake it till you make it. This summer, I don't know about you, but I went to a lot of parties. Like my social life was on fire. I mean, I was at the Kim Exposed Taylor party, the Selena and Justin party, the Charlie Puth is over party. Just. I can't even keep track anymore. So paying a tribute to these Twitter parties that just popped up this summer, why not be one? People have done lots of DIY Twitter costumes before, but this time you're just adding the party atmosphere to it. So grab a red cup, maybe add a hashtag on it, a party hat, um, those blowy whistle party thingamajiggies, and you're set. I think, now I don't wanna make any promises, but like I'm 90% sure I'm gonna be doing a DIY Twitter party costume. Um, for one of my videos in October, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, of course, I'll link down some examples down below, as I will with all the costumes that I've mentioned. Now, a movie that came out this year that is super easy to create a costume from is The Purge. All you have to do is buy one of those creepy face masks that I've seen at like every party store I've been to. Wear your normal clothes, and then maybe like carry around like a chainsaw or like a knife or something just creepy like that, and a fake one, not a real one. If you're actually considering carrying a real one, You've got problems. Don't leave your house on Halloween. I have a couple more movie themed costumes, so let's just get that out of the way. Um, the next one would be from Me Before You. I absolutely loved this film. I hated the ending, but I love the film. So I think a really easy costume to put together would be like Louisa with like bumblebee tights and like just a really funky creative outfit. So easy to put together. And then the other movie is Suicide Squad. Harley Quinn, the Joker, there are so many options. It's such a recognizable costume and if you don't want to make it yourself, party stores are definitely selling their overpriced versions of it. Another viral video that I loved this year was the Chewbacca Mom. So if you can find yourself a Chewbacca mask, this is an easy costume to put together. Like all you need is a white t-shirt, put on the mask, and just laugh uncontrollably. This next costume idea might be offensive to some, I don't even know, but it's to be Harambe. Okay, now I'm not saying to go and dress up as sexy Harambe. Oh, you didn't know that was a costume? Well, it is, because, yeah, I don't even know why it's a costume. But you could pay tribute to Harambe by dressing up as a gorilla, or... Yeah, I don't really know why this is a costume idea. But hey, there's no denying that Harambe was a big story of 2016. Another trend that you could represent at parties is the hundred layers of. Now, it's up to you how far you want to take this or what you want to do, but just show up with like a hundred layers of whatever you want and you're done. I wouldn't recommend the full face that Jenna Marbles did unless you actually want to go for that creepy scare the shit out of everyone type of costume because that was definitely scarier than any monster costume I've ever seen. Now my final costume idea is for all of you Americans, I know most of my viewers are actually American, so hi, thanks for watching. Um, now because of this whole... Now I'm gonna get into politics just a little bit, but because of Trump, a lot of people are like, if Trump wins, I am moving to Canada. Now I would welcome you with open arms, like come at me bro, but unfortunately our country is not that easy to get into, like, sorry, I know we're pretty much the same country, but you're gonna have to go through a lot of paperwork and trouble and applications in order to just easily move here. So in order to prepare you for that, I figured why not for Halloween to dress up as 
a Canadian. Yes, just dress up as one of us. Go for it. And I'm not talking like everyday, normal, swag, cool looking Canadians like we are. But like the most stereotypical looking Canadian costume you can think of. So put on that hockey vest, carry around a hockey stick, eat some maple syrup. Say the word about like a boot, even though nobody really does that here. Oh, of course you have to be super nice and overly polite because that is the number one rule to being a Canadian. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed those ideas. And please, before you do anything else, just please make my day and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. This is just the start of many Halloween videos to come. So you're definitely going to want to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Up, 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 up.